so my gimbal cable broke. It wasn't fixable. Didn't want to try getting a new cable. So I uh, got a new gimbal. Uh, this is the Phantom 2 Vision with the gimbal removed. Note, I had to keep my existing mounting plate. Though it was slightly bent in the crash when I removed it, I was able to straighten it out nicely. We can see the wires going through the mounting plate. This is the orientation for the mounting plate. And now that my new uh, Vision Gimbal's arrived, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and get your rubber dampers in there and get your retention pins through before tightening down the plate. Otherwise, you won't be able to get the retention pins through. Once that's done, go ahead and lift the gimbal up to the mounting plate. At this point, you want to go ahead and attach the two back dampers and then you can begin attaching the cable. Begin with the side cable first, followed by the front cables. And you can use a small screwdriver to position the cables over the board and uh, snap it in. Once that's done, I wanted to go ahead and uh, power up a systems test. And you can see the uh, gimbal going through its dance and working properly. So we went ahead and completed the attachment of the gimbal with all the dampers. That's a pain in the neck. Take your time. Use a small screwdriver. Here's my first flight test showing good tilt and FPV was working nicely there. Uh, a little shot of my neighborhood as we cruise on out. And uh, that's about it, folks.